All right, we're going to tackle a specific problem on uh, algebra pace 1102 and page 19. And uh, I started talking about it in the video or kind of explained the whole lesson. And then this particular problem, uh, we got in the middle of it and my brain kind of froze on camera. And um, <clears throat> so I went back and looked at it again and um, this is a tough one. So I think I'm, this is actually problem number um, number four. <clears throat> on page 19. And what we're supposed to do is come up with three values for x, and then you solve to find the corresponding y values, and then you need to graph three points. So this one is actually kind of easy, okay? because we can solve for y and have y equals negative 2x plus 3. And then, like I said, you can always plug in 0. If you just have a whole number here, negative 1, positive 1, you know, 2, those are always good options of numbers to plug in, okay? Because then you can easily solve this equation and get the corresponding y value. Then each of these becomes a point, and then we can you know, graph that line going this direction. This was the one that was tricky, okay? I'm going to start off the same way again. We're going to start, we're going to solve for y. So subtract 7x from both sides. 5y equals negative 7x plus 21. But then we need to divide by 5 in order to solve for y. So we end up with this fraction, negative 7 fifths, 0, okay? plus 21 over, that shouldn't be zero, x, sorry about that, uh, plus 21 fifths. So there's really, on this particular problem, there's no way to avoid it. We have to deal with fractions, okay? I am going to give you a tip that's going to help you, all right? So we're going to come up with some values. Um, let me do it up here just to make sure it's easier to easier to see what we're doing. So we'll plug in for x, solve for y. And uh, the first number that I want us to plug in is negative 2. And then we're going to plug in 3. And then we're going to plug in 8. Okay? Now we just, it just so works out that if we do that, we end up with a whole number for y. And that's kind of complicated to explain how we know how to do that. But if you plug in these three numbers, then we don't have to be graphing fractions. We can graph actual whole numbers. So let's plug in, for instance, negative 2 here and see what happens. So that would give me negative 14 fifths plus 21 fifths. Actually, that would be positive 14 because negative times negative makes that a positive. Okay? But they have a common denominator of 5, so now I can add 14 plus 21 would be 35, okay? So 35 over 5 is 7, okay? So that's one point. <clears throat> so we come over here on the graph and say, okay, at negative 2, I go up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's the point, negative 2, 7, all right? And then uh, let's plug in positive 3 and see what happens. That one's kind of a fun one. Actually, I'm going to let you do that one on your own because that's pretty easy. Let's choose the tougher one of 8. <clears throat> so 7, negative 7 times 8 is negative 56. And we keep the denominator of 5 plus 21 over 5, okay? So now what's negative 56 plus 21? So we'll subtract the smaller from the larger, keep the sign of the larger. Hey, we have negative 35 over 8. Oh, excuse me, over, over 5. Which is going to give us negative 7. Okay? Now, I want you to finish. So you plug in 3... Okay, and then just follow it through. Come up with a, uh, you know, two fractions, add them, get a y value. You'll get a whole number here, but now you have three points, okay? 
because of because of these particular numbers and these fractions being the way they are, um, it's really hard to guess what numbers. Now, honestly, you could plug in anything. Like um, I think we started to do zero. Um, and if we did that, if I plugged in zero, I would have the fraction 21 fifths. So 21 fifths is the same as 4 and 1 fifth. So what that means is that this line at the zero is going to cross at 1, 2, 3, 4, and just a little bit above. But it's just, it's not as easy and, and we, it's hard to be confident, okay, graphing fractions. But uh, 21 fifths is 4 and 1 fifth, and technically the point 0, comma 4 and 1 fifth <clears throat> would be right here, okay? So the, uh, the line that we're graphing is coming down at an angle like this. So it's going to go through this point, um, over here at 8, it's somewhere down here at negative 7, okay? So we can kind of see it's, it's going through here. All right, so we have one line going like that, and then we have another line going this way some way, and the whole, the whole point of this is to find where do those two lines cross. And if you use a ruler, and you're being accurate, you should get an exact value where they cross. And that point will have an X and a Y coordinate, and that is the actual answer that they're looking for for that problem. Anyways, that was, that was kind of a tough one. And uh, hopefully uh, you can finish that, get the right answer, and uh, check number four in the scorekeeper, all right?